Right now, Arlington County police are working to identify the person who went into a theater over the weekend and yelled, shooter. Now, the boy who shouted that sent a wave of panic over the people, not just in the theater, but the entire Boston Quarter area, and police say they're working to determine who that boy is. Our Colby Satterfield talked to an attorney about the potential charges. It's a completely different scene here today at Balsam Square after someone yelled shooter in this theater over the weekend, begging the question, is that legal? I always look for the exits and pick my seat based on that. It's a sad reality. It's something that's on people's minds today after a boy went into an Arlington theater and shouted that there was a shooter. Every time when we go, we have that kind of just scare in your mind all the time running. That's why attorney Christy Leary says when things like this happen, she worries it could cause a delayed reaction next time. It would be awful for people not to respond appropriately to that because they're not sure if it's real or not. The Arlington County Police Department says they're still investigating the incident, including working to figure out who was involved. Is it legal to go into a movie theater and yell shooter? It's creating a disturbance that is fake that then causes the people in the theater to be upset um, and then brings police and other public safety resources into the mix, causing just a lot of chaos. And so from a legality standpoint, it's not legal at all. Beyond the legality of these situations, she says it has an impact on people on a personal level, and it's already something people are worried about. You have to kind of actively think like that all the time. You can't just passively go anywhere anymore. That's why she says legally, this type of thing is taken seriously. It's something that the community at large doesn't want to encourage, and in fact wants to discourage that from happening. And something she says could result in misdemeanor or felony charges. In Arlington, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. And officials with the Arlington County Police Department say that if that person is identified, they will work with the Commonwealth Attorney's Office to determine the appropriate charges.